Hello, in this video I would like to discuss with you the new technical analysis columns which we recently added into the program. We can use them both as columns in tables and I'll show you also how to use them in filtering. If we press the add column button on a list under the technical tab you'll notice the list of all the indicators which we carry into the program. Now, I'm going to focus on uh, moving average simply because it's the most popular, but everything I show you here is applicable to uh, almost all other indicators. If we select moving average, on the right hand side we'll see all the various sub options. Uh, firstly is the variant. Um, it's this drop down menu here, starts off with value and there are several other options. This is where you select what information you want to display about the moving average. Value will display the actual numerical value of the moving average. Uh, dead cross and golden cross uh, will uh, return positive if uh, two moving averages have crossed one another, uh, either up or down. Price cross the moving average is the same but with a price crossing a particular moving average and ratio between moving average and moving average or ratio between price and moving average returns uh, the ratio of the two values i.e. Uh, one moving average the value of one moving average divided by the value of the second moving average or, va or the price divided by the value of a moving average so we'll start off with pr value and uh, we're going to set up what moving average we want to look at at the top here so I'm going to set exponential 10 this is just purely an example um, below the value option we've got the period so at the moment it's set on daily which is the default uh, so it means that our 10 period exponential moving average is a 10 day exponential moving average if we were to select weekly our 10 periods will be a 10 week exponential moving average I'm going to keep it on daily for now on the right hand side are the further details so latest value it will return just the most recent value of the moving average uh, we can display the value a uh, given number of periods ago so we can display what the value of a moving average was five periods ago uh, we can show the absolute change in a uh, moving average so it will be expressed in pence uh, or cents depending on the instrument uh, and the last one will show you the percentage change from uh, a certain number of periods ago again periods here refers to what period is set here so in this case it's five days if we set it to weekly it's going to be percentage change from five weeks I'm going to start off by selecting latest value and if I hit add the latest value of a moving average will be added as a numerical value in the column and if we want to know how much this moving average has risen or fallen uh, compared to value say 10 days ago for example I select change this is going to be the absolute change and I can hit add and here it is so for example free I group the current value of a 10 period exponential moving average is 702 pence and it has also fallen by 11.2 pence compared to the value of the same moving average 10 days ago I'm uh, now going to change uh, the variant so if I select uh, the ratio for example now this is going to return the uh, difference between of uh, a ratio sorry between the price the latest price and the latest value of a moving average if we select latest value um, I'm going to keep the moving average to the same setting so I'll do a 10 period exponential and latest value will take then the latest price and the latest moving average and do one as a ratio of the other so uh, ratio of being of one being the price is identical to the moving average uh, ratio of above one meaning the price is higher than the moving average or ratio below one like in the case of a uh, selected share here free I group it is the the price is currently below the moving average now this is quite useful uh, because if we now close the box here if you sort the list 
by this ratio, we can very quickly find all the shares in the list, in this case it's a FTSE 350, all the shares in the list that are currently trading above their 10 period moving average. These are every single one of these shares, right up to all the shares that are above one. These are basically trading at exactly the same value as the moving average and all the shares from BHP Billiton down are all trading below their 10 period exponential moving average. And we can see that quite easily if we start from the top, we'll select uh, Vesuvius PLC, we'll move to the chart and go to add moving averages and we're going to add an exponential 10 period moving average. Uh, we won't uh, worry about the channel. Click on OK and OK and here we have it. Here's the 10 period exponential uh, moving average and here is the current price. And if we move to the next share in the list we can see that every single share is currently trading above the exponential moving average. And If we now go to the bottom of the list and pick the one with the smallest ratio. This one is 0.9, so it's trading at about 10% below the moving average. In fact, if we then move to the chart, we will see here's a price and here is a moving average. So that's a, quite a useful feature. And if we go back to the list, I can show you that we can do the same with two moving averages. So instead of looking at the ratio between the price and the moving average, we can do it between two moving averages. It's exactly the same. But instead of be doing between the price and a single moving average, it's going to be between the first moving average and the second moving average. So in exactly the same manner, you can find out if the six period simple moving average is above or below the 21 and also by how much. Uh, the next one I would like to show you is the one that most people tend to be interested in and this is the cross between two moving averages. This is a binary column, uh, meaning it will over either return true or false. So the moving average has either crossed or it has not. If we select golden cross, and again we can choose a period that we want, I'm going to stick to daily for now. Uh, we have in first box, we'll choose the short moving average. So I'm going to keep on my 10 period exponential. And on the right, we have our long moving average. So I'm going to keep, for simplicity's sake, to a 20 period exponential moving average. So with a golden cross here, I'm looking for shares where the 10 period moving average has crossed above the 20 period exponential moving average. Of course, you can choose whichever pair of moving averages you prefer. Below here in the options, uh, there is a uh, look back option. This will uh, indicate how far back SharePad will look for the cross. So if we set it to five, which is the default, it will find all the shares where the 10 period moving average has crossed above the 20 period exponential moving average at any point in the last five periods, in this case, five days. Because the periods are quite short, 10 and 20, there are quite a few crosses. I'm going to keep it to one, so it will only find shares where the cross has occurred in the last day, so on, on the last bar. The tick box here below will search for true golden crosses. Now, when a lot of people define, say, golden cross, they simply mean uh, a short moving average crossing above a long moving average. But the true definition of a golden cross also checks the direction in which these two moving averages are moving. And a true golden cross demands that both moving averages are also rising. So if a cross occurs while the 10 is rising and the 20 is falling, it's not a true golden cross. I'm going to keep that unchecked, so as long as the two have crossed, that's enough for me. I click on OK, and being a binary column, all the column does is either show me a tick or nothing. A tick obviously being the share where a moving average has just crossed. And if we now 
move to the chart we have our 10 periods exponential moving average I'm going to go to add moving averages create I'll choose a different color exponential 20 and OK and if we look we can zoom right in we can see that the 10 period exponential moving average of a red line has just crossed above the green line the 20 period exponential moving average if we hit the space bar to move down to the next item you can see barely but just about but it still has crossed so it's found as positive and if we zoom in here here's our other cross our other cross and our final cross here now if we return to the list and go back to add column the price cross the moving average works exactly the same as golden cross but it will look for price crossing the moving average if we select this it will allow you to find in the options to the right if the price has crossed above the moving average or below the moving average so if you're looking for a bullish or a bearish sign again it's got look back period and the moving average set up above here and the last one which I didn't mention is a get dead cross which is simply the inverse of a golden cross in this case it's looking for a short period moving average crossing below a long term moving average instead of crossing above options are exactly the same as before the true dead cross means that both moving averages must be falling and now I'm going to show you how to use these moving average uh, technical analysis columns to set up a filter so if we go under the filter menu I'll just apply a quick filter and I'll select add criteria I want to look for shares uh, where two moving averages have crossed while the uh, being still below where well, while the price is below a, a third moving average so in my filter I'll look for crosses between the uh, simple six period moving average and the simple 21 period moving average so I'm looking for a golden cross so a bullish sign but I also want the share to uh, be trading below its long-term average because I want to give it the chance to uh, rise over time I'm only interested in shares where the cross has occurred in the current day because I wish to place a trade right away I'm going to click on OK and apply so out of a whole of FTSE 350 there are six shares currently where the uh, six period simple moving average has crossed above the 21 period moving average I want to be slightly stricter than that I'm going to go add criteria here I'm going to use the combine items for simplicity I'm going to select price and I'll select latest price and I want to select that it is less than select the item technical moving average value and I'm going to use 252 periods for my long-term moving average 252 simply being the number of trading days in a calendar year and if I click on OK it's going to find all the shares where the price the latest price the latest mid price is less than their 252 trading uh, day simple moving average so their annual average if I click on OK again I only have two shares with a tick and if I hit apply all the other shares disappear and I end up with two shares I go to the chart go to add moving averages I'll edit the first one to a simple six period 
and I'll edit the second one to a simple 21 period and I'll add a third moving average which is going to be my long-term moving average a simple 252 period I click on OK OK again and here it is a buying opportunity given by a share which is currently trading significantly below its annual average but has just had a bullish indicator in uh, indicator cross in the short term and here we have our second chart uh, second share uh, green king where the same thing has occurred the share is currently trading way below its uh, at yearly average but it's currently had a uh, positive indicator trigger if this is a filter that you would like to keep uh, you can press the keep button uh, give it a name and the filter will appear in the list of your filters if this was just something an example and you don't wish to keep it hit exit and everything you've done will be removed this ends the first of a series of videos I am going to do on the technical analysis columns so please keep an eye on our YouTube channel or our support page on our website uh, for more of these but in the meantime thank you for listening and goodbye